Albert Einstein and Nikola Tesla were one of the greatest minds of the 20th century. While Einstein changed the course of science with his theory of relativity, Tesla revolutionized the modern world with his high frequency alternating current. Both these scientists were masters of their respective fields. But what did they think about each other? Did they share a good bond or was their relationship a bitter one? Let us find out. Before we move ahead, make sure you subscribe our channel for more videos on science. On Tesla's 75th birthday in 1931, he was featured on the cover of Time magazine. The magazine requested comments from his peers and Einstein politely responded with, As an eminent pioneer in the realm of high-frequency currents, I congratulate you on the great success of your life's work. It was a very short and to the point birthday message from a gracious Einstein. But back in 1920, in a poem Fragments of Olympian Gossip that Nikola Tesla composed for his friend George Sylvester, he was very critical of Einstein. In the poem he said, Now a long-haired crank, Einstein by name, puts on your high teaching all the blame. In 1935, when speaking with the New York Times, Tesla was critical of Einstein, stating that his theory of relativity was a beggar wrapped in purple whom ignorant people take for a king, and a mass of error and deceptive ideas violently opposed to the techniques of great men of science of the past and even to common sense. Tesla continued, the theory wraps all these errors and fallacies and clothes them in magnificent mathematical garb which fascinates, dazzles and makes people blind to the underlying errors. Its exponents are very brilliant men but they are metaphysicists rather than scientists. Not a single one of the relativity propositions has been proved. Tesla was 79 when he gave this interview. He had spent all his life working in the realm of pre-relativistic theories such as ether theory according to which the space is filled with an invisible gaseous substance. Tesla assassinated general relativity in this interview because there was no clear evidence of it till then. Michelson Morley and Eddington's verification of the theory were considered uncertain and ambiguous. When Albert Einstein was asked how it felt to be the smartest man on earth, he replied, I wouldn't know, asked Nikola Tesla. It was short and to the point from Einstein. However, given the nature of their relationship, this was just a clever, sarcastic remark and not a compliment. Einstein and Tesla were the greatest minds in their respective fields, yet there was a certain rivalry between the two, as there is between all great minds. That's a big part of what drives us to be better and in return do great things for the world. Before you go, make sure you also watch these life lessons that we can learn from Nikola Tesla and subscribe to our channel. See you in the next video.